Hey my friends, I am back with a problem that I hope to never have, but unfortunately I do. And let me tell you about that problem. So I don't know if you guys know the Northeast has just gotten hammered with rain this year. I guess it's El Nino or whatever. And we have gotten more rain than I think this, this area has seen in decades, which has caused our water table to rise and kind of maintain at an exceedingly high level. In our house, even though we live on top of a mountain, we have a sump pump and that thing has been pumping and pumping and pumping this year. I, I'm scared it's gonna break, but it has been keeping our basement dry and from flooding. So I've been afraid that after one of these rain events or even during one, we would lose power and then I would either be at work and my wife would be at work and we'd have no power at home and our sump pump would fail to run and our basement would flood, which would be a nightmare. And I want to avoid that at all costs. Seemingly every time we have one of these large rain events, a day or so later, there's a big wind event that follows. And uh, we've been pretty lucky up until last week. Then it happened. Last week, we got about two and a half inches of rain over two days. And the following day, a really large windstorm blew through the area with like 65 mile an hour gusts and ended up blowing over one of our neighbor's trees and cutting power. Thankfully, my wife was home and working from home that day and I was able to walk her through getting the generator started uh, over the phone and she really saved the day. Man, the, uh, the water level had risen to about three inches from the lip of the sump pit and at that point it would have started to overflow and fill up our basement, which would have been an absolute nightmare. So I've been racking my brain trying to figure out what, what's the best solution to back up my sump pump. I've read about some of these um, dual pump systems that there's like a deep cycle marine battery that runs a 12 volt pump in case the grid fails. It'll switch over to that. Haven't seen the best reviews on those and haven't seen a lot of people that say that they work very well and they're not cheap. And I don't really want to spend a ton of money on something that's not going to work and then have to figure out another solution. Then there are the water powered backup sump pumps, but since we are not on city water, we're on well water, power goes out, that's not gonna work either. So this is what I came up with. This is the EcoFlow River Pro. Now this is not a sponsored video. I have nothing to do with EcoFlow. I was just doing some research on these solar generators, these backup batteries. These guys seem to be on the cutting edge. I think they're, it's expensive. Pretty all of them are expensive, but I like that they're using the lithium iron batteries uh, and they should last a lot longer. And I said, you know what? Maybe this will work. Um, it's got a 500, let's see, what was it? 768 watt hour battery. It's rated at 800 watts across these plugs and up to a 1600 watt surge. And the best part is I was able to get it on sale at Costco. Otherwise, I probably would not have bought it. So what caught my attention with this is that you can have the unit charged up, leave it plugged into the wall, into the grid, and then have your device, whatever you want to run and keep alive, plugged into the front, in my case, a sump pump. And it'll power through the grid, uh, your device, not strain the unit at all, as long as you have power. In the event that power goes out, in less than 30 milliseconds, it will switch over and begin powering your device through the internal battery and inverter that's, that's more than fast enough for a sump pump and uh i said you know what this may actually work and not only will it work for that but then it's great if we go out on a picnic or wherever need this out or i don't want to string an extension cord across the yard then i have it too and i can use it for for different tasks so i figured it was kind of killing two birds with one stone so my idea for the backup is that after we have one of these large rain events I will install this thing in line with my sump pump and I'll leave it there for two or three days. And then if it power fails, this backs it up or we start the generator, great. If not, we don't have to worry about it, but at least we have a little bit of peace of mind that this will be here to run it. Ideally, what I would like it to do is be able to run my sump pump when it's heavily loaded for 12 hours. That will cover me being at work, uh, even if I get stuck at work or stuck out. Um, it would keep our basement dry for long enough for me to get home, start the generator, and have backup power. So, so far, the only thing that I've done with this unit is I've charged it. I've charged my iPad from it, which was great. I think it charged it like 30 watts, which was really neat. 
and I plugged in the sump pump to it to make sure that it could actually support the load of the sump pump. Um, it's about 600 running watts and oftentimes startup watts with a uh, with a uh, the motor an electric motor is a lot higher. So I didn't know if it was going to even be able to power the, the pump on and it did it without even blinking or anything. It was perfect. So it worked well. So tomorrow we are predicted to get three inches of rain in 12 hours. It's going to be insane. So by the time I get home from work tomorrow, our sump pump will be running. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate a power outage. I'm going to hook this up in line with my sump pump. And together, we are going to see how long this will run my sump pump. I suspect the pump will probably be running every 30 seconds to a minute. Maybe a little bit longer. I, I'm not sure. Um, and every time it runs, it runs for 15, 20 seconds, I want to say. So that would be a lot of cycles. You know, granted it's short, but it's a lot. So I will be really impressed if this will support the pump for 12 hours. That will be, I will be in love with EcoFlow. This will be amazing. But we're going to find out together. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, here we are the next morning after the rain. You can see slide up every few seconds. So let's say it's running once every five minutes or so. You can see the nameplate here for my pump. And you can see it's around 7 a.m. And the unit is at 100%. And I'll plug pump in. And what I want to do is let it cycle once and show you how much draw it has. All right, it's about 1 p.m. Uh, I'm actually not at home, so uh, let's check in with the EcoFlow and see how we're doing. We're about halfway through our test, and one thing I really like about this unit is that you can connect it to your home internet and then check it while you are not at home. So let's do that now and see what it says. All right, let's check in with this guy. We'll open up the app. All right, it says we are at about 86%. And I was figuring that it's been cycling once every 10 minutes or so, so roughly six times an hour. That's not too bad. All right. All right. Well, it's around 7.20 p.m., so we actually went over 12 hours. I'm sorry. Can't read. Around 8.20 p.m. So let's see how this guy's doing. Still at 70% after powering the sump pump for 12, 13 hours, 13 plus hours, wow. All right, so final thoughts, I couldn't be happier. I mean, the test went 13 hours, we ended up with 70% remaining. So I timed it after I disconnected the unit and the sump pump was running once every 16 minutes. So I gotta say that it was probably on average four times an hour over 13 hours it ran that sump pump and still had 70% uh, of power left which is really impressive. So even if the sump pump was running double that and we were left at 35% at the end of 13 hours, that's still more than enough. The chances of uh, me not getting to it to fix it or to uh, hook up our generator uh, inside of 13 hours is really slim. So I feel more than comfortable that this thing will be able to handle uh, any outage. I mean, even anytime the sump pump runs, just put this in there and use it as a pass through. And then it's there as a backup, just in case it's fantastic. I'm really excited about it. Um, if you're interested in picking one of these things up, I'll leave a link below, uh, for Amazon for an affiliate link. It helps support the channel. Doesn't cost you any more. Um, but like I said, I got this one at Costco for a little cheaper than it typically is on Amazon. And you know, this channel is all about saving you money. So please, uh, <laughs> Be my guest, find, try to find it cheaper somewhere else if you're interested. Um, is it a cheap solution? Absolutely not. Is it a perfect solution? Absolutely not. But does it give me peace of mind for the ballpark of $400? Absolutely. Um, I couldn't be happier with how this test went. One other thing I forgot to mention is that the app worked flawlessly. I uh, was like a little petulant child today. I couldn't wait to open the app and keep on checking on it. 
and uh, it stayed connected. It updated throughout the day. It was really, really great to be able to see uh, how much power it was using, see how much was left from afar. You know, I was 40 miles away today. So that's uh, another fantastic aspect of this thing, being able to hook it up to your Wi-Fi and, uh, and monitor it from afar. So, yeah, I'm thankful. It worked well. This thing doesn't even hiccup when that sump pump kicks on, and it's roughly a three-quarter horsepower motor. I mean, th that's quite a bit of power and quite a bit of surge, too. So all in all, I'd say this test was absolutely a success. I'm really thankful I picked this guy up. And that's about it. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.